It's Thursday and Friday, November 9th and 10th. The sun is in Scorpio and the moon's one sign before in Libra. So whenever the two signs are right next to each other, they carry similar qualities with a slight alteration. So Scorpio is all about intimacy, really wanting to get close to you, wanting to understand your psychology, wanting to hear your story. They're detectives. They listen to what you don't say. And Libra, which came right before it, was the sweetheart that's really lighthearted, that loves to socialize. It's a little bit nosy and Scorpio's like, shh. So they have some conflicted energy because Scorpio would never get light and fluffy. However, the Scorpio needs a little bit of the Libra. So there's a dance going on Thursday and Friday. Always is when the sun and the moon are next to each other. Here's the news. Energy's shifting. Venus just moved into Libra yesterday. Mercury is entering Sag on November 9th. That would be on Thursday. So there's some movement in the planets. We leave behind the Virgo energy with Venus, and we leave behind the Scorpio energy with Mercury. So it's lightening up to Libra Sag. You're going to feel a shift. There's still three planets in Scorpio, the Sun, Mercury, and Mars. Okay, those three planets are still demanding attention, which means focus, Thursday and Friday. And then there's those five planets in water saying, I want to focus, but I want to be alone. During Scorpio season, you might feel the desire to be inside. We've got Neptune in Pisces. We have Saturn in Pisces. We have Mercury in Scorpio. There's a lot of water. And you have permission during that high level with the moon in Libra to say to yourself, moon in Libra's big issue is, can I just figure out what I want? It's the famous question for every moon in Libra. What do you want? Scorpio goes, I'll tell you. So that's why they're such a complimentary team because Scorpio knows their taste buds. Libra will change their point of view in order to accommodate who they're with because they love harmony so much. But when you put them together, strong Scorpio with gentle Libra, it can really make for a great partner for sure. One thing that's true about these next few days is wanting to connect with people and letting that little Libra moon have a turn with, who can I talk to? Astrology Answers wanted me to talk to you at work.